In this video, we're gonna talk about defining sketches to create lofted surfaces. Typically, when you think of lofted surfaces, you think of a bunch of parallel planes with sketches in between them, such as this front plane and plane two. But you don't necessarily have to use parallel planes when creating a loft. You can create planes at any angle and use these sketches as lofts, or you can create sketches in 3D. Let's start by taking a look at creating a loft between these, and then we'll create some sketches in 3D. One of the defining characteristics of a loft is the requirement of having a start and an end profile. You must have a start and an end profile when you're defining your loft. The green dots on the end of your profiles can be switched to either side, but this will induce a twist. Now you'll notice I can also add a third sketch in here, and if for some reason it's out of order, we can reorder the sketches to make sure that the loft is appropriate. So as you can see here, using those three curves, we define a complex shape in 3D, even though all of our curves were on 2D planes. Let's hide this and take a look at what else we can create by using 3D sketches. Inside a 3D sketch, you have the option to sketch on plane. So you can insert a plane in 3D, or you can sketch on a plane by selecting a plane and then going to sketch on plane. So once we're in here, Let's go ahead and just sketch some geometry. I'm going to draw a three point spline and simply tweak one of the end handles. We can now exit our sketch on 3D plane and let's create another plane. So I'm going to select the top plane and I'm going to again sketch on this plane. And farther down here, I'm going to create another three point spline and again I'm going to tweak the handle on one end. This time, let's go ahead and create a curve in 3D. So we're gonna look at this from the top, create another three-point spline. Now, whenever you're looking at a 3D sketch from a certain orientation, such as the top view, you can see next to my cursor, it says ZX. This means we're drawing in the ZX plane. If we rotate around and hit the tab key, you can see now I'm sketching in the XY plane. So I'm gonna press one point there, I'm gonna rotate this around, hit tab again, and I'm gonna sketch in the ZX plane, and then hit escape. So you'll notice that in 3D, my spline has showing some curvature. Go ahead and tweak one of these handles, look at this from the top, and simply drag one of the endpoints around. So now we've created three curves. One of them is in 3D, the other two are on 2D planes. We can exit our 3D sketch, and we can loft between those. You'll notice that the selection manager pops up automatically because you're selecting an entity within a sketch that has multiple entities. So you simply need to do this three times in order to get the selection properly. So you'll notice that even though we had a 3D sketch, it was still allowed to be used as a profile. So you can see you can create all the sketches needed to properly define the profiles for a lofted surface within a single 3D sketch, or you can do them in multiple sketches by creating multiple planes. But just know that either option will allow you to create these profiles and create complicated geometry using the lofted surface.